Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, April 19th, 2024, on the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. It's almost 4.20. Nice. Anyways, took a little drive after work today. Went to meet up with uh, my, my newfound friends, Scotty and Tanya. At, uh, we stopped at Willabald. They're coming from London. And uh, so we met halfway. Went at Will Willabald, a farm distillery and brewery. Uh, I picked up a bunch of stuff, which we're going to talk about. The reason we got together is... Uh, you know, I'm a West Coast fan, and Scotty brought this back from the States with him. It's a Pliny the Elder. It's an OG whale crown, crowning achievement kind of West Coast IPA, so we'll be getting into that tomorrow. Um, thank you. I, I can't repay that. That's the kindness a man cannot repay. But we're going to talk about some Willabald beers, and I've never been to Willabald. That is a sweet place. We're going to go take Mrs. Polk back because there's food there. I had a, a nice lager when we were there because I was driving back and forth, and you know, it's been a long day at work. And I had a lager, and it was wonderful. But you know what we're going to have tonight? We're going right for it. We're not even going to stop at the West Coast IPA or the other IPAs we got. Nope, we're going for the triple. I'll see the triple, son. This is a triple IPA. Uh, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Nelson Savant, I believe. Hooch! Hooch! 10.5%. 10%, sorry, 10%. West Coast Tippa! Tippa! Beautiful service there, too. I want to thank the folks at Willabald. Excellent to... Uh, to, to finally get out there, I, 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 there's no reason. It's, it's like an hour from my place. No traffic at all. Very easy. A lot of back roads took some, some things. Let's get into this. Uh, Pliny. I had Pliny once, but I didn't understand it. It was a long time ago. My, my cousin Jerry got me one, and, and I don't think I appreciated it as I should have. So I get to do this again, and I'll be sharing that with you. But tonight we're going to get into a triple. A little triple up here, son. 10%. Technically second beer of the day, but I mean, I had a lager up to like 4.30, so... You know, it's like 7.30 now. But, like, literally an hour away, and I should go there more often. I've had some Willow Ball beers, and they're fantastic. Um, the fact that they're making clear as a bell triple West Coast IPAs, that's something near and dear to my heart. Let's get into it to new friends, new beers, new adventures in 2024. Cheers. Let that ruminate a bit there. First of all, there's an excellent body on that beer. That is a, a, a mouth-coating hop bomb. Peachy, um, white grape, berry, pine. You got that earthy pine kicking on the back with a nice bunch of orange citrus pith. That's a large beer. It's a large beer, but honestly, it's smooth as hell. That's dangerous. I think this is the year. This is the year that West Coast IPAs make the vaunted comeback. They never left. Don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. But we are seeing some of the best breweries in Ontario dropping double and triple West Coast pop juggernauts. And I think that's an exciting thing to see. Now, listen, I got a quad IPA in here. I got an anchovy IPA not made with the... The fishies, it's it's a hop named anchovy. I think I got a single 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 one with a Simcoe, single hop double IPA with Simcoe. I've got a quad IPA, and what I love is that it's great. But I went there, and so this is a fantastic triple IPA. I had the lager, and it was wonderful. And they had like a Vienna lager and another lager on, and I'm like, this is I can I can bring Mrs. Polk here because there's beer for her. You know what I mean? Because she's not like IPAs and that, but she loves the lager. So there you go. It, it really nice, and it's a nice drive. It's out in the country, like it is in the middle of nowheres. That's where I'm going to be when I finish this. But uh, this is excellent. I want to thank you, Scotty and Tanya again. Thank you so much for this. It means the world to me. I don't know if I can ever express that enough. But also getting to go to Willowball and, and maybe breaking out of that real rut I've been in lately about you know just just that. To work at home, like you could probably, there's a rut right from my work to my home, and that's all I've been doing. And I'm glad I broke out of it, and I'm glad I got to have beers with you, and I'm really, really glad I met you. So, Willa Bald, I'm gonna see a lot of Willa Bald in the next couple of days. Go Leafs, go tomorrow. I'm gonna need the 10%. Triple, I said a triple IPA, son. Cheers. It's really pretty out here, it's a good life. <laughs> 